Hardware Hospital episode, PC repair series, where you film it like it's an emergency. There's like a, let's do like a siren playing, and then you're running. Somebody help! Somebody help me! I got you, I got you, all right. Oh, dang, it's melting. What does that mean? Let's open it up, we gotta get to it. Sometimes computers can run really hot, but the computer doctor's here to help. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got my friend John here. He, you've seen him in videos. This PC was built on this channel for him. He's back here with the computer issue that he's having. When he runs anything, YouTube and games, YouTube starts lagging. He can't do too much on it, which is weird considering this is a 10 core CPU with an RTX 3070 and 32 gigs of RAM. Previous checks have shown that it's been running a bit hot. The graphics card is reaching 87C. The CPU, well, he can't cool it that well because this EVGA CLC has really loud fans. That's one thing they're notorious for. They work well, but they're just too loud to run at high speeds. We're gonna clean this out. We're gonna change those fans out. So let's get that process started. These are the fans. These are Noctua's well-renowned fans. We're gonna go blow this thing out because that's the first thing anybody should do. One thing to be aware of when blowing out fans is you don't want them to spin. That can cause a problem in the fan, so you always wanna put your finger in the fan before you blow on it. And if you have a high pressure nozzle, it can possibly cause damage if you get it too close to the board. Okay, so with the issues that he's having, there's a few things. The, t the CPU could be overheating, the GPU, which is also in control of all things graphic related, which would explain while playing games that YouTube starts at, at lagging and acting up. Well, obviously it is temperature related on this one because it, we know that it was running in the high 80s. With all that, I'm gonna redo the thermal paste on both parts. That doesn't look that great, so I definitely do want to redo it. Who put this thing together, dude? <laughs> you can use alcohol to cut through a bit, but I like to start it off with no alcohol first. And you use something like a shop towel that won't leave behind fibers or little pieces of paper or anything like that that could cause a problem. I'll do the work. He gets to play. <laughs> Where are we dropping money? Now, I got my trusty MX4. Let's put on like a large P size dot because this is a X299 board. That's a socket 2066 CPU. Just dab the extra around like that. Actually, it's a little much. <laughs> All right, we got the thermal paste redone on the CPU, but now we got to do the GPU. And it may look like it's difficult to do, but you'll see right now, it's not that hard. Just a few screws. This is like gold. AIB graphics cards are basically just assembled and held together with four screws. When taking apart graphics cards though, it is important to note of any fan or LED connections like this one. Sometimes there's enough slack. So you gotta stick it in the right one. Sometimes these stickers hide screws and I just found one. Oh hey, that was easy. But that's not it. Finally broke it apart. So with GPUs, it's fine to go a little overboard, just a little, not too much, because uh, you're going right to the die, and if you're using thermal paste that's non-conductive, it's okay if you make a mess, but you'd rather have a little too much than not enough. Wow, I didn't want it. These Noctua's. Now, when it comes to putting radiator fans, these ones are basically top notch, but they are the expensive option. And if you're wanting something that's really good, but not necessarily $30 a fan like these uh, NFA14s, then the Arctic P14s or P12s are awesome for both airflow and pressure, and they cost like a third as much. Uh, if you need to do a lot more fans, or you just don't want to spend that much, get the Arctics. And if you're concerned with Noctua's being ugly, these ones are, well, these ones aren't ugly, but these ones are going in front of the case, behind the shroud. You can't see them. So I went ahead and swapped the fans and Noctua's redid the thermal paste in both the GPU and the CPU. And after checking on everything, temps are good. GPU is doing better now. I can crank the fans a little higher on this to get more airflow from the front to the GPU directly since the gap here is pretty tight and we are good to go. Everything is working great. Speaking of fans and AIOs, we have a video right here showing you the entire process of installing an AIO step-by-step -step with everything that you'll need to know. So make sure you check that out.